I just want to see everybody happy. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are in the world. Yes, it's me, April Love, here in Boston, wishing you a blessed time wherever you are. I hope you're finding reasons to smile, to laugh, to enjoy life, to appreciate everything and everyone around you. I truly hope you are having a blessed time wherever you are. This video here is going to basically me, one, saying thank you to everyone that does watch my videos, those that do give it a thumbs up those of you who have subscribed i'm up to 79 subscribers i'm truly blessed for that um but i also just wanted to put good thoughts and prayers out to anyone that's struggling with anything right now the reason why i'm i'm doing this is i do have a couple family members that are struggling in ways they should never have to struggle nobody should struggle in any way but you know what they're going through it just makes me stop and think, one, of how grateful I am for what I have, for having my health, for having, you know, the means to do certain things, whether it's go to the doctors, whether it's buy a new hat, whether it's buy, you know, new clothes or whatever, to have a bed and pillows. You know, I'm truly blessed for everything that I have, and I'm even more blessed to have this outlet you know, as well as my other outlets of art and music and whatever and what have you. But I know there's people around the world that are in the middle of wars. There's people that can't put food on the table. There's people that don't have tables. There's people right now out in the cold sleeping on a park bench. You know, I got family members that can't provide for their children the way they deserve to be able to provide for their children. And it breaks my heart because anyone that knows me, if I had more money in my pocket, in my bank account, I'd be giving it all away. I do it all the time. I, you hear me all this time saying money's coming my way, everything is working out, you know, good things are coming and this, these are things I truly believe and I don't just believe it for myself I believe it for my family my friends those that I don't even know I believe love is stronger than hate I believe love and prayer and whatever your belief system is whether you believe in God whether you put your thoughts and wishes out to the universe whether you believe in Buddha whatever it is I believe that if you believe strong enough that these these entities and these spirits in the universe does hear you, does help to heal you, and I know a lot of times it doesn't feel like that because of what's going on around you. But right now, all I can do is pray that you find healing, that you find solutions, that you find reasons as i say in the beginning of every word, every vlog reasons to smile reasons to laugh reasons to appreciate everything and everyone around you whether you know whether you're surrounded by negativity appreciate the negativity because that's going somehow some way that's going to turn around and bring you to the positive that you need in your life, bring the solution to you. It doesn't happen overnight sometimes, sometimes it does, but my faith is strong and my belief is strong that good things are coming for everyone. It, there's enough in this world for everyone to get the help that they need, the finances they need, the food and medical attention they need, there's so many people out there trying to help one another, to help others. Um, one of the things that sparked this uh, wanting to pray out for everybody is, you guys know my little cousin, the one that's in the videos with me a lot. You know, she's sh suffered with um, severe eczema. We're not even sure if that's exactly what it is, but, um, you know, 
She was supposed to go see a specialist this week, and at the very last minute, they her mother found out that she no longer has insurance, and the specialist won't even see her because they don't have the money, they don't have the insurance, and they want money up front, of course. Um, and this little girl has been through so much in her young life to ha not be able to get medical attention for the for this skin condition every night she has a flare up so bad that she topples over in pain and cries and no matter whether her mother uses medical medicated ointments gives her you know painkillers whether she does something tries natural remedies nothing soothes it no, you know, it either heightens it for a moment, or she just has to wait it out for for the flare up to to subside. She's twelve years old. She shouldn't have to do this. Her mother works full time as a federal employee. She has medical insurance, and it doesn't cover anything. You guys knew, know from my previous vlogs about the situation that's going on with me and my husband. We still talk, we're still off and on, but my prayer has always been the same for him. That he's happy, he's healthy, that one way or another, if we're meant to be together, that uh, we can get a visa, we can get what we need for, for our lives. Come March, it would be five years that we're married, and we haven't spent more than a month together in total. Maybe two months in total. I didn't get to go see him this year. I might not be able to go see him next year because we're not really, you know, we're off and on talking because he's in a severe depression. You see me trying to stay positive, and I try to stay positive for both of us, but as we all know, we're in, everybody's an individual. We all go through our individual struggles. There's only so much as one person that we can do to help another. And that's kind of what's going on with, with, with that situation. All I can do is pray that he finds, finds healing. He finds financial help. We find a way to get a visa to bring him here so we can work on our relationship. Because I haven't given up hope. I've never given up on hope on my relationship, but, you know, it is what it is. I, you know, the more I sit and dwell on it, the le more nothing happens. So the more I continue to believe in my dreams and believe that things will happen, I know things will change for the better, even if it doesn't seem like it right now. And just like I said, from watching the news, seeing things on social media, I pray for everybody. I pray for human and animal alike. I pray for nature. I pray for this earth. I pray for this universe that we help one another, that we heal one another, that we find the solutions and means to take care of ourselves and take care of each other. Because if you do believe in God, this is what God wants for us. He want he created us to spread love, to spread healing, to, sp to realize how much we really are connected. I believe there's enough in the world for ev everyone, and my prayer is that we all find our niche, find our purpose, find whatever it is that we need in our life. I love you all. I love whoever watches this. I'm praying for you. And... Please just keep your head up. I know it's not easy, but keep your head up. Dreams come true. Miracles happen. And the law of attraction is real. God bless. And as always, like, love, share, and inspire. Much love all. Peace. Just keep your head up all, please.